the fear of God does not come automatically. It's something that you also have to attain in your walk of salvation. And it is something that really, really does bring a, a new dimension of joy and trust and peace in your life. Because when you do not worry, when you have no anxiety, because you know who your God is. He says, they that know their God shall do exploits. You know, shall, come, shall do mighty exploits. So you have to actually know God. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Honey Amion Podcast. I'm your host, Bernie Stada, with the co-host, the Holy Spirit. Welcome to another episode. If you're new here, do not forget to like, subscribe, share it to another person if this video touches um, your heart. And if you're inspired and impacted by it, also just remember to have a wonderful time here. Sit back and relax and hopefully the Holy Spirit has something for you today. Right, so back to the story that I was talking about in the previous episode. If you do not understand what I'm trying to say, if you do not understand the context of what I'm going to speak about today, feel free to go to the other episode and to further understand what happened or rather what's the context of the story. So back to the story that I was sharing, um, today we're going to add a little bit more to that story. So now Samson is your friend. He's really, really cool, very mighty very very strong and then you have someone um you're on your own and you have someone that is just trying to threaten you and disturb your peace and in fact even trying to say that they're going to come and beat you up so your first response to hearing that threat might be oh what do i do but then the next thing you might think of is that oh i have someone that i can call to help me out in this situation and i know that for sure Samson is going to beat the abuser or the accuser's ass. So it's time to call back, or rather call out your help, or rather call for help with your friend Samson. And the reason why I continue this story in that way is because I spoke about some certain reactions to some actions that we take, or rather consequences to some things that we do. And one of the th- consequences of fearing God and having the fear of God is that it comes with a lack of worry and anxiety. So there was one time that the Holy Spirit taught me a lesson and he was like, um, joy is a result of trust and trust is a lifestyle. So trust, it when you start to, when you start to, not see joy as a choice rather or an option rather like a lifestyle that is when you have the fullness of it and a lifestyle comes with a knowing a knowing and understanding um but i'll still i'll call it a knowing and a knowing is what is what you know is going to happen we do that all the time we have that around us all the time like for instance if you know that you're going to wake up tomorrow, most likely. You would have a lifestyle of putting an alarm in order to wake up on time or in time the next day. That is a lifestyle that comes from a knowing. If you know that you're going to get hungry um, by afternoon and you're already, most workplaces already knowing that would have a, a lifestyle of giving their workers a lunch break you know that you're going to um use the toilet at some point a lifestyle through that knowing you're going to most builders and architects are going to have a lifestyle of putting restrooms and toilets in accessible places to the public because that's the knowing that comes from a knowing it's not everyone that pees or uses the toilet due to, due to some issues. It's not everyone that wakes up the next day. It's not everyone that can eat solid food. But you generally, you know, in the normality and in the usualness of lifestyle and humanity is that we are going to eat. We are going to use the toilet at some point. We are going to do a wake up the next morning. That is what happens 
that is what is going to happen according to what the principle is or what is supposed to be so also it is when it comes to you having a knowing that you fear god that god is god and you are on god's side and god is dedicated to you as his child from that knowing you're going to build a lifestyle of trusting god even when things are looking very weird when things are looking very crazy and in that trust you're going to then have joy because joy is knowing that no matter what is going to happen this thing has been sorted out this stuff has been cleared and that is what i would call the consequences of fearing god and um i think like in order to fully enjoy this habit and lifestyle that I'm talking about, it needs to come with two things. Number one, you actually have to be on God's side. You actually have to decide to choose God. You have to, um, it starts by salvation, basically. It says by when you think in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised up and you declare out of your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord then you are saved now that you are saved it doesn't end there you actually have to now start the journey of choosing god and trust me there are going to be a lot of options that will come up to tell you or oh, find another way god is not the best option there will always be things that will come up maybe you are looking for a job and somebody tells you and you're you're broke you don't have anything you're in debt you're looking for a job it's not been forthcoming you will most likely have in that situation either a thought suggestion or a suggestion through a person or an advertisement or something that you see online where the person will tell you oh are you not getting money now just come and do this fraud or yeah it's not been picked up yet nobody's going to know it's always going to present you an easy way out it is in that moment that you now have to realize that you are building a lifestyle as a newly saved person you are building a lifestyle of choosing god it normally comes it normally starts with the smallest stuff um how you treat your body how you treat other people maybe instead of um wanting to curse somebody out for overtaking you wrongly you choose to respond in kindness and in patience sometimes if you if you can't reach the kindness stage you can choose patience that's also a fruit of the spirit as well and number two is um after really finding out and after finding out and actually being on god's side then you also have to fear god and that's also another reason why i'm doing this um these two videos it's because sometimes we think um to fear god it it comes automatically in the package of salvation um what comes at least i'm speaking on personal experience now what comes for me is that when you're saved you still have a journey of discovering god of knowing god of understanding him and in that journey of knowing him and understanding him at some point you will start to fear him more and more so i would say like salvation what comes with salvation is the grace in order to know him more in order to dig deeper in order to seek him deeper and to fear god what you get is the grace to do these things so maybe when you're saved you don't it doesn't automatically switch for you so it's not that's why i said i wouldn't call it a package um salvation does not the salvation package might not automatically come with the fear of god it is it it's it's it comes with the grace i hope i'm making sense but like that is how i can understand it or how i understand it and how i can also speak about it sometimes when we are saved we don't we don't reach out to attain and know and fear god you can be saved you can be very very saved but you might act as if god is not god you might act as if you do not fear god you would still be very blatant in your sins and then you would overuse the mercy of god not overuse per se because you can't overuse the mercy of god that's the beautiful part about the mercies of god but you would want to abuse the mercy of god because you do not fully understand god as god 
in his complexity and simplicity. So I think that's what I'm trying to drive here. The fear of God does not come automatically. It's something that you also have to attain in your walk of salvation. And it is something that really, really does bring a, a new dimension of joy and trust and peace in your life. Because when you do not worry, when you have no anxiety, because you know who your God is. He says, they that know their God shall do exploits, you know, shall, come, shall do mighty exploits. So you have to actually know God. And just as how you have to go to school to learn one plus one, it doesn't come with you being born. When you were born, you had the capacity. You were born with the capacity to understand one plus one. But you still had to go through the journey of school in order to know and learn one plus one. So that is all I'm going to say today. And um, I'm just going to pray for anyone that is... I'm going to pray for two sets of people today. Number one, the ones that are not on God's side and are thinking like, okay, how do I start this journey of salvation? I pray for you that um, I, I don't want to lead you into, I don't want to pray this, lead you with the prayer of salvation right now because I'm trying the end game of you being saved is that you be discipled and you start the journey. So what I would say is that I pray you meet and encounter someone that can disciple you and show you the way of Christ. I pray that you can find a church around you, a pastor, a well-trained godly pastor that will show you the salvation of God. I pray that your desire after seeing this video will not be quenched by something else, but you will actually actively seek to find God and to find his salvation above all. I pray that in your desire that everything that is supposed to work for you will meet you at the point of your need, not a second later, not a minute before, but exactly at the time you need it. I pray that wherever you're going to to be discipled, to be trained, to be helped in your journey of salvation will be for your good. And at the end of it, you also will lead someone in the way of discipleship and salvation as well in the name of Jesus. The second set of people I want to pray for is our um, people that are saved. And it's quite hard for you to um, let go of worries and anxiety and fear. It is said that the word do not be afraid or fear not is said 365 times or found 365 times in the Bible. And people say it's one each day. So that means even as you're saved, worries and anxiety are going to try and come after you. They're going to try and make you feel all types of fear. And I pray for you that in your journey of learning to trust God, in your journey of fearing God, in your journey of letting go of worries and anxiety, that you will be met with such utter peace that will guard your heart above everything that will try to come your way. I pray that just like Jesus slept on that boat, you will reach to the utmost level of encountering and knowing God that even in the midst of your storms you are going to sleep in peace knowing that the storm is not going to take you out I pray for you I pray for your heart that it be guarded but and out of it out of your heart that is guarded and well kept that all the issues of your life will also produce good fruit for you in the name of Jesus I bless you all in the name of Christ. And if you enjoyed this video, once again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I love you all with the love of Christ. And have an amazing, amazing week. And see you next week by God's grace. Bye.